Yo, Darius Britt here. So today we're gonna mix it up a little bit, try something new out. I don't usually do behind the scenes type stuff, but I figured you guys might enjoy it. So, uh, you know, here you go. And if you don't like it, then I don't like your face. Before I go too much further, if you haven't seen the video, this probably ain't gonna make a whole lot of sense. I'll leave a link in the description section. Inspiration. So I had a breakup uh, a few months back. It was a two year relationship, ended in flames. Long story short, I had a great girl. But I was a jerk and I was kind of selfish and then when I fell in love with the great girl later on the damage was already done and she broke me. It was the typical you don't know what you got till it's gone scenario. Ah. And especially after like you first break up or you're broken up with and like you're hurting so bad all the time and nothing you do makes it go away and it just kind of like makes you turn into a monster for a little while. There was a little gap where I stopped making videos and that's cuz I was going through the blues That's what my face looked like when I was going through it. It was it was pathetic I couldn't write about film stuff because my personal life was dominating my mind so much And so I figured well since I can't think of anything else besides this heartbreak business Then why not just make a video about that cuz that's what's on my mind process I knew that I did not want to do a big stressful resource intensive short film I wanted to keep it simple something that I could easily knock out something more so that I could just kind of get this off my chest and I wanted it to be small enough where it would just require me and one other person and a few cameras. Before I penned the script, I did about two weeks worth of research. I ended up rewriting the script for this like three times. The first approach I did was more of a tip video type structure and it just didn't gel well with the visuals. And then at another point, I had a 13 episode like web series type deal going on. I spent two weeks writing that and then it just that didn't really work for this particular project. I finally settled on a more motivational type video. Cameras! Total I used five different cameras. I used my Canon 60D, my cell phone which is a Samsung Galaxy S3. 80% of what you saw in the video was actually my cell footage. I used my Nikon Coolpix vlogging camera, my old GoPro Hero 2, and a GoPro Hero 3 with a 3-axis gimbal stabilizer that I borrowed from a friend. I knew that I wanted the video to have like a home video feel to it, so the combination of these cameras really helped to make that possible. Acting. Kaylee Michelle is the girl who played the ex. She's a good friend of mine. She knew what I was going through at the time. I told her about this project and she was down to help. She has no acting experience whatsoever. She's actually a painter. You can find her work at KayleeMichelle.org. I'll leave a link in the description section if you're interested in checking out some of her work. The thing about Kaylee is she's super naturally comfortable in front of the camera. I did a few camera tests on her just to see how the camera reads her and the camera just loved her. She has a certain watchability to her. So those two things combined gave me the confidence that she could pull it off. Many of you may remember the Incredibles movie breakdown that I did where a lot of you were asking who was the random woman who was sitting in the back. That was Kaylee. Production. He's gonna start walking over here or something. Doing some location scouting. I always wanted to shoot something in a lamp shop. So, uh, this place looks good too. Got Dan the man back there. Yeah. Yeah. Over the course of two and a half months, Kaylee and I went to a ton of events and get togethers and just recorded the happenings of this mock couple. It was nice because we could literally just go anywhere we wanted to and film. We just looked like two people making a goofy home video. makeshift tripod <laughs> love this little guy man <laughs> we just finished shooting the love lock scene brought me some extra clothes so it's easy to swap out the same day Kaylee and I have changed our attire up completely now it's on a whole nother freaking day yeah so now we look like we've done something. Now we're gonna take that streetcar right there. Here you're on your your turf here. Where to get? Oh, I know. Um, Doors to my left. Here, and if it's out of focus, you can just tap the screen. Okay. Are you guys gonna smile? <laughs> So we just got done popping some shots on the streetcar. We literally en enlisted the help of complete strangers Next to um, and record stuff for us. Doors to my left. They were confused. Yeah, they were very confused. 
Jesus. We told him we were taking a picture, and we weren't taking a picture, we were doing <laughs> video. <laughs> okay, come closer. Okay, here. Wow. A little bit closer. Right there, yeah. Mm. My hand okay? Right there? Yeah, wait, we're not seeing your hand. Here's our studio. There's our lights. Darkness. Bounce. Darkness. Bounce. done we recorded about 64 gigs worth of video footage I had to distill everything we got down into the best bits there were a lot of clips that I wish I could have used but they just didn't work in the edit post-production it took about four cuts of the film to reach a picture locked version that I was very happy with and the voiceover that you guys hear in the video I re-recorded that like five times. I recorded all the voiceover with this AKG mic because I couldn't get the type of sound that I wanted with the mics that I have. I'm just borrowing that bad boy from a friend too. I don't own that mic. That's like an $800 mic. It is 4 o'clock in the morning and I am currently um, composing the score for the Heartbreak Project. And it's coming along really good. It's taking a while. We may enjoy the good times. But it's the hard times that shape the times that... The first composition that I did with the music I liked for a while, but then as the cuts went on and I heard the music more and more, I just started freaking hating it. So I like completely recomposed the music again. The whole voiceover effect that I did with the mic was new for me. I've never done that particular type of voice work. I was literally like this close to the mic. The whole motivational video approach, but you're talking about subject matter like love and heartbreak, which really needs to breathe. That was really tricky to kind of find the pacing for that, where you leave enough pauses where people can kind of think about what you said and maybe reflect on their lives, but not so much that it slows the pace down to the rate of molasses. I almost gave up on this video completely for two reasons. One, the elements just were not coming together and it was becoming way more complicated than I anticipated. And two, I was, I was moving on myself in the heartbreak process because, I mean, it happened months ago and it was taking months to make this video. So by me kind of getting better but then still working on a video that's still talking about heartbreak and all this stuff, it just kept me in that headspace when I was really ready to just move on. I almost like just was like, I gotta let this video go, you know, it didn't work out, I just, I didn't give up on it. I kept plugging away at it, I kept massaging the edit and the elements, you know, slowly but surely came together. So yeah, I mean, I'm glad I stuck with it. I enjoyed working with Taylor Plessity as well. She's actually an actress, she's out in LA doing the LA actress thing. She's good. She's really good. I always wanted to kind of work with her and do a little something, but schedules and stuff never really aligned. And But this time around, she happened to be in Tucson and I was shooting my thing and I was like, hey, you know, we can like knock something out right quick in like five minutes on my cell phone. And she was like, what up, what up? Let's do it. Well, I'll leave her links in the description section as well in case you guys want to 
check her out or if any of you cats are in LA shooting stuff hit her up she's good she's real good oh somebody text me well I hope you guys enjoyed this video and and if you didn't then I don't freaking care I just freaking did it anyway so yeah well, that's all I got for you. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like, or subscribe. You can find me on the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, or the Twitter, baby. You can also check out my second YouTube channel, Darius Britt, where I vlog about my Avengers on the Film Festival circuit, my first feature-length film, unsound, live casting, vlogs, etc., etc. I do believe that's all I got for you, suckers. Deeper down. Booyah!